Hello everyone, um, welcome to a new mini-series um, on Oxygen Not Included. Um, this is basically going to be a little mini-series showing different aspects of the game and different questions that come up quite often on stream um, and things that get asked an awful lot in the forums as well. Now, the first one isn't actually meant to be the first one. This is going to be a video on power today and how to use the new power system in the agricultural update. Um, there's an awful lot of people that are still struggling with how the Transformers work, so I thought I'd just quickly throw a video together. So, without further ado, let's crack on. So, what we're going to do first of all, um, as we know, when we start the game normally, we normally have quite a simple power cell. Now, we're joined today by the lovely Rowan, Rowan and Ren. Um, they're going to be my little power dupes. So, standard sort of power system that you normally have at the beginning of the game is something like this, whereby you've got a manual gen, a battery, maybe an algae deoxidizer, maybe a microbe musher, and you're basically going to use maybe a thousand watts on this heavy watt wire. And essentially your dupe is going to jump on the manual generator when this battery is below 50%. Okay? You've, you must have all done this by now. If you haven't already, this is the basic power. This is how it works. Okay? This manual generator is looking for the power threshold on this battery. Or if you had 50 batteries, the power would all be split between the 50 and it'd still be looking for one of those batteries, like what the power is at on this circuit that it's connected to. Okay, So very simply, we've got a manual gen, a battery, and a couple of power users. Now, neither of them will work at the minute, this is just to show you, but essentially this battery, once it gets to a certain percentage, Rowan will no longer need to charge it. Okay, And that, that threshold is set in here. So if we did it all the way up to the top, he would constantly be working his battery as and when it needed it. Okay, if we scrolled it right down to the bottom, it would only be charged when the battery got to 12% of its threshold. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. That's the initial circuitry of the base. And to be honest, you can build little mini circuits like this all throughout your base if you want, and you can keep using these little confined systems for as long as, as, long as suits you. Um, the main thing to remember is a manual generator generates 400 watts of power, and these circuits can hold 1,000 watts, uh, or rather, the electrical wire can hold a thousand watts of drain okay now whilst we mention that another thing to know is that in the current build we're on build 219035 so it's the agricultural upgrade plus a few hot fixes um, on the current build um, as regards your wattage on the wires a, st a standard wire can handle a thousand watts a heavy watt wire like these over here can handle 20,000 watts okay but that is, they can handle a thousand watts or twenty thousand watts of power drainage. Okay, so machines like these that are draining power, batteries and power generation, so manual generators, coal gens, hydrogen, natural gas, they don't count towards your, your cap. They don't count towards your threshold. So when you come to calculate how much wire you've got on your uh, power you've got on your wire, you just need to add up these machines or click on the wire and it will tell you what your potential maximum draw is on the wire so at the moment we've got 240 plus 120 gives us 360 on this circuit and that's the easiest way of doing it really if this circuit was active this figure would show how much is currently being used and this is the maximum that can be drawn on this circuit if we uh, if we quickly connected uh, I don't know if we just drew out some more micro mushes maybe uh, and we looked at the wire, it would say now that our maximum on this wire is 840 watts. So if, if we put much more stuff on there and run it all at the same time, there's a chance our wire could overload. Okay, so that's that. That's the basic stuff. Very simple. If you, if you use this sort of system, you can potentially run your base on these little closed circuits forever. You don't really need to go any bigger if you don't want to. But, as is always the way in oxygen not included, eventually your base is going to expand and you're going to want to go bigger and better. So, we then have the heavy watt wire and we have the power transformer. Now these are things that are researched. Um, once you unlock them, you basically open up a, a window into much bigger power networks. Simple as that. Now, there's an awful lot of confusion with these at the moment, but they're actually pretty straightforward. And as long as you follow a few simple uh, rules, you can get them to work cleanly and quite precisely in your base. So what we've got here, we've got two manual generators. Okay, This one here is connected with just a normal electrical wire and this one is connected with a heavy watt wire. Okay, Then around the base here we've got a heavy watt wire that's connected to a number of transformers 
and if we look at the power you'll see some of these aren't connected at the moment okay um, on each of these transformers we have a little sub network this can basically handle a thousand watts and obviously because this main wire can handle 20,000 we can have an awful lot of these transformers coming off the wire at the moment there is a slight exploit in the game or a slight bug in the game whereby this wire doesn't necessarily need to be heavy watt but that's a story for another video um, for now if you want to do the game properly as it's intended or at least how it's intended currently you'll follow a build like this okay so basically the heavy watt wire the problem with heavy watt wire is it has such a terrible decor hit so if we look at the, the wire itself um, its decor is minus 25 and it has a six tile radius okay so if we look at our decor in this little uh, corridor up here we'll see that we're currently sat at minus 300 decor 314 which is not nice that that is not a way to keep your dupes happy um, however out here we're at decor of minus 13 and that's just because we've got some electrical stuff around here um, essentially putting your heavy watt wire in a cavity will fix all your decor troubles is what I'm trying to get to but anyway let's crack on so we have a simple circuit here really um, we've got a manual generator or two manual generators connected with either a normal wire or a heavy watt wire it really doesn't matter which and then we've got transformers leading to little miniature circuits and then we've got some other transformers and some batteries and I'll crack on with that now so first thing you need to be aware is with the heavy watt wire if you want to keep it hidden the best way of doing that is with a bridge okay so if we connect the bridge here uh, and here okay we're now connecting these manual generators to the main circuit okay so any power generated will go to this main circuit however however as you may have noticed they're not actually jumping on and doing anything yet okay now the reason for that is the same thing as what we experienced down here so if I get rid of these batteries on this circuit now, this manual generator now has nowhere to gauge its current threshold. Okay, If we mouse over it, it says duplicates will operate this generator when battery charge falls below the selected percentage. So they're not, there is no percentage because there's no battery. And that's the same problem we have on this circuit over here. Okay, So we have no batteries on this main wire. We've got batteries on these miniature circuits that are coming off here. We've got a couple of batteries here but if you notice the dupes are just chilling out doing nothing just walking around doing nothing this guy's gonna work now <laughs> just to fill up the manual generator but other than that they're not gonna do much okay and he'll potentially keep doing this forever because there's no batteries there it's it's bugged okay now what we can do to fix this very simply is if we connect a wire bridge here and here okay we've now got batteries on our main circuit we've got four batteries and if we watch the dupes now they'll jump on the manual generators okay I keep pausing this because I want to show you different things as we go these batteries will not take any charge yet even though they're connected on the main circuit and the manual generators can now see these batteries because everything's connected okay they won't get any charge to begin with and if you look here they're at zero okay however all the other batteries that are on the circuit are starting to get charged that's because the transformers themselves are the priority of power okay the, the energy will th flow through the transformers before anything else, meaning that the batteries that are off these little miniature circuits are going to get the power before these backup batteries on your main circuit do. Okay, So if we watch this for a second, you, you can see this quite clearly. All the transformers are getting the power, these batteries are getting the power, so the lamps are working. These batteries still don't have anything. All right. Now, if we maybe spawn in a few more dupes, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. there we go. What we've got here is basically 10 more manual generators, okay? Now these are all connected on just normal wire. There's there's no heavy watt wire here, this is just normal electrical wire. Now again, as I mentioned at the beginning, generators don't count towards your max wattage on your wire. So I can basically have 1500 manual generators if I want, all connected through one normal wire. And if I connect these up here with a wire bridge, Okay, then I'll part the circuit as well. So these dupes should all jump on the batteries, on the generators, and you'll see these batteries should start filling up a lot quicker now. And the reason I've done this is just to show you that once these batteries are filled, then these backup batteries will get filled. Once these are filled, they'll no longer use the manual generators. Okay, it's just like a priority system. So if we speed this up a little bit, these are getting filled, and now you'll see these, these start accepting charge soon. So what's basically happening is at the moment we're generating more power through the 
the manual generators then the transformers are pulling themselves because these are going to pull a thousand joules which is equivalent of a thousand watts per second i believe um so if we had more transformers it would just go straight into these batteries but there we go these are now full so these four batteries are now taking power all right so what that basically means is and the the summary here if, if anything is when you're doing your main circuit when you're doing your wiring around your base you can potentially have manual generators all over the place and as long as you connect them up with just a normal wire and then connect them with a wire bridge to your main main cable, your main hidden away, cavity walled, sectioned off cable, wherever that may be, then you can basically avoid having heavy watt wire anywhere near your base. You just have it where you want, okay? Um, providing that you've got batteries on your main circuit. As long as you've got batteries on your main circuit, it will trigger them to use the manual generators, okay? And then on every circuit thereafter, you can have additional batteries as buffers. So if we had a circuit here, I mean obviously I'm just using little lamps at the minute, but if we had a circuit that was using a thousand watts or something like a, a circuit with a tepidizer on or something like that or four pumps or four thermoregulators or something that's going to use a lot of power regularly, then what you would want is something like, uh, let's think, your wire would come off like this, you would have a number of batteries, okay, uh, let's see, so you'd have a number of batteries along here. And then obviously tepidizer is gonna take quite a lot of power. So a tepidizer is a good example, it's 960 watts, okay? I'm gonna make sure I turn this off before we do anything else because I don't want to cook the air in my base. But essentially this tepidizer is gonna try and pull 960 watts constantly, meaning that your transformer is gonna be at full whack, all right? What you really want is for a buffer in your batteries so that if your tepidizer does need to be switched on, it can be it can switch on for a prolonged period of time is what I'm getting at. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. I don't want this to run over too long. I'm, I'm aware that I've been waffling a bit already, but that's essentially how the power works in the game. Um, this wasn't intended to be the first video of the play of the series. I'm going to be doing lots of different videos on different aspects of the game as well. So if you're interested in Oni and you're learning at the moment, then uh, yeah, please do come back and check. Um, again, if you want to keep track of me, I'm normally on Twitch. Um, uh, Twitch or Twitter is probably the best place to follow me. You should be able to see that on the screen there at the top. Um, but other than that, stay tuned, guys, and I'll be back in a few days with another video and hopefully the rest of the series. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.